When most people think about what makes a car safe, they usually think about things like seat belts, airbags, anti-lock brakes, collision warnings, and other high-tech sensors. When most think about luxury, then you might hear mentions of leather interior, killer audio, wood trim, glass roof, heated seats, heated steering, and maybe even a little mini fridge. All those things may be true, but there's one system which is crucial from both a safety aspect as well as giving you that luxury car feel, and that's your suspension system. Having a well-designed suspension system doesn't just keep you safe by giving you great handling, but it also helps provide that comfort of a smooth ride that makes the difference between an okay car and a luxury heaven. The challenge is that great handling and a smooth ride don't always go hand in hand. This is the problem I believe that Aptera is looking to solve with the Roush partnership. If you watch the Aptera Maker series about suspension, you will see chassis lead Brian Humsimperdick talk about some of the ride quality issues that he and his team are working on. One of the main issues that he mentioned was regarding uh, ride quality, stability control, and predictability during acceleration. All of those things basically are encompassed in the uh, vehicle's anti-pitch system. So essentially that's a combination of the anti-squat and the anti-dive properties of the vehicle. So remember that Aptera is a very lightweight vehicle with a lot of power and a lot of torque. So when you press on the gas, the car wants to basically launch. And what that does is the rear of the vehicle will kind of lower down. That's the squat. And so they have to develop a system that does not, that, that uh, minimizes the amount of squatting. So they have to design their suspension system to minimize the amount of squatting the vehicle uh, exhibits that you experience as a, as a passenger in the car. The opposite of that is true when you're trying to brake. So let's say, for instance, you're getting off the highway and you're coming to a stoplight. You know, you're going to be going from a fairly sp fast speed to a much lower speed in a fairly short amount of time. And the car is going to basically pitch forward as you press on the brake. And again, both the dive and the pitch are not comfortable feeling as a passenger. So you're looking to design a suspension system that's going to control for both of those uh, aspects of the vehicle so that the ride feels a lot more smooth. Something else that Brian mentioned was that the vehicle experienced a bit of a lift during uh, acceleration. And so I can imagine that's an, a safety is issue. So for, for instance, let's say you're going over a speed bump uh, and uh, it's acceleration basically it controls for both uh, hitting the brakes as well as the um, gas in my mind, because uh, going back to physics, uh, acceleration basically is a, a change in velocity. I would imagine that this would not only be an uncomfortable experience as a passenger, but could also be a little bit unsafe and that that little bit of a lift can contribute to uh, not having as much control over the vehicle. So you want to design a vehicle that maintains contact with the road surface as much as possible, especially when it, when you're considering the Aptera is a three-wheeled vehicle, having the three points of contact becomes a lot more important to vehicle safety. Part of the reason why Aptera is having this much of a challenge with the suspension system has to do with the unique design of the vehicle. Now, we know that Chris and Steve, one of the things that they say about making uh, the Aptera now as opposed to the first time around is that there are a lot more parts available in the, and, and by third parties being created by third parties, which means that they don't need to reinvent a whole lot of the components that goes into the Aptera, they could just basically source it and focus primarily on the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Now, when it comes to the suspension system, however, there are a lot of unique features that you have to account for based on the design of the Aptera, being that it's a three-wheeled vehicle and, it's, and that it's also very lightweight and puts out a lot of torque, has a lot of power. They need to focus a lot more of their energy in the design of the suspension system. So the suspension system for the Aptera is going to be fairly unique to that vehicle specifically, which is why I believe that the development process looks looks a little bit delayed. I believe the biggest hang up at the moment, aside from of course sourcing the parts and making sure that they have their, their manufacturing process completely down, but I think part of the biggest part in the design challenge has to do with the suspension system. And I believe this is why you see that Aptera is releasing a lot of videos of Aptera at the track. Uh, I believe this is them basically um, after going through all of the design work and uh, testing all of their components and simulators, they have to take it out to the track and see what the actual experience is to get all the uh, sensor data as well as, you know, first person take on what the car actually feels like from the actual driver and from the passenger's point of view. They are taking it to the track fairly often to get all of those uh, pieces of data 
so they can calibrate the suspension for uh, better handling as well as for a better ride comfort. And of course, if this has to do with the moose test as well, primarily the moose test, you know, has to do with the, uh, the role of the car, which is handled mostly by the sway bar. And, uh, but having a better suspension system means you're going to have much better uh, contact between the road and the vehicle and therefore uh, more control over what the body uh, will actually do what the vehicle would actually do. Uh, it's a pretty big, uh, important part of the process, but this is the one piece that they're working on that once they get it solved, I believe the project will be a lot closer to production ready. So, so I would say to keep a close eye on every video that I've terror released uh, for the beta at the tracks and see how the vehicle is handling both during acceleration and deceleration as well as during the moose test and any other cornering uh, exercise. So this is uh, something worth keeping an eye on, and I know that these guys will get it down uh, pretty quickly, and hopefully we'll be able to move one step closer to production. Well, that's it for this episode. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.